Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and uh, if you want rumors, which I think some of you do, news, I think most of you do, but I know all y'all want some free gear. So if you want a chance to win a free Raiders t-shirt from Black Sunday, I'm going to be giving one out at the end of today's video. But the only way you're going to do it, the only way you're going to get one, is if you hit that sub button. So major shout out to my guys, Black Sunday. This is what one of their t-shirts looks like. If you guys want to go get a whole bunch of other stuff, they have a lot of other stuff as well. I know they got hats. They got this Marcus Allen shirt, which I think is really dope. Black Sunday is really cool. You might be seeing them here on the Raiders Report a little bit more often. But I'm going to be giving away a t-shirt. So make sure you subscribe. Type Black Sunday. Let's get hyped. All right, let's get into the show. Matthew Leon, what up, brother? Super chat time. If Lamb is on the board at 12 and the Raiders don't take him on draft night, you and Downey chug a beer. Last one to finish beer, chugs another. Well, I'm all for chugging a beer, but I also like competition. And I think Tom would definitely agree that I would chug a beer before him. So if you guys want us to chug beers, though, there's ways to do that. Subscribe to the channel. You'll be able to see how to make us chug beer. Okay, let's go to Evan. What up, Evan? Okay. Wide receiver is the hardest to scout in college. Many busts. I think it is one of the hardest positions to scout. However, I think quarterback is even harder because I think when you think about the trade, the big trades that happen or like the amount of stock that's put into a quarterback, when one misses, I'm going to say it, Jamarcus Russell, it hurts. It hurts really bad. So I'll say quarterback's probably the toughest one. But Evan, I appreciate you. Make sure that you guys are using hashtag Raiders or you can super chat to get on the show. I got Simply Marvelous. Oh boy. We need to get lamb because i need to sport that jersey in la and diss the la fans at the same time yeah i mean i think uh, i saw some chargers uniforms come out today i think it's funny that they even make jerseys for chargers fans since there's like 20 of them but sure if you guys want to rep cd lamb jerseys i can guarantee you one thing y'all are gonna be able to get them here on the channel because if lamb does go to the raiders i'm gonna be having a lot a lot of cd lamb jersey uh specials that one's for chuck Let's go to Savior Charles, hashtag Raiders. Would you be on the board with trading the 19th pick and our fourth rounder, so 121, to the Bucks for the 14th pick and then drafting Henderson? Um, Bucks still can get O line help at 19, so I can see this. Personally, I'm going to say no. I also don't think it's enough to go up and get pick 14. Like, I think in terms of the trade value chart, you're looking at like maybe 42 points or something like that for 121. So I think if we want to go 19 up to 14, you got to give, you got to also get rid of a third rounder, which I'm not willing to do. I like CJ Henderson a lot, but I also think, um, I also think that CJ Henderson's gone even before pick 12. Let's go to uh, another super chat from Jojo. Hey Mitch, what do you think about Troy Dye, linebacker from Oregon? I think Dye is a pretty good prospect. I think a lot of Raider fans have reached out to me about Troy Dye because of the fact that he does play in the Pac-12, the fact that I think a lot of y'all see a lot of the Pac-12 games, and I think the fact that the East Coast kind of misses out on you know a lot of Oregon football games. I think he's a good linebacker, but I think he's kind of like in an awkward position in terms of where we would draft him, right? Like on my big draft board, he's probably at like pick 110. I think if we take him at 121, sure, it'd be a good value. But, like, I like guys like Willie Gay Jr. I like Logan Wilson more. I like Malik Harrison. So, if I can get those kind of linebackers in round three, I'm more on board for that. Because then when I do my mock drafts in round four, Troy Die, he's already gone by then. So, hopefully you guys are watching the NFL draft. So, hopefully I see a lot, a lot of whys here in the comments section. Lots of whys. And the reason why I want you to watch the draft is because we're going to be live seven rounds and it's going to be an interactive draft okay you can see the link below youtube.com slash chat sports tv but i want you all type in your whys okay because i want you to watch the draft with us and i want the draft at chat sports to just be dominated in silver and black and i want to every single time you know goodell comes on screen in his mom's basement y'all boo him and i want every single time that you know like we're up on screen tom and i it's just Raiders in the comments, right? Like, I want us to dominate it. I want us to have a good time. And if you like what we do here at the Raiders Report, you're going to really like what we have at Chat Sports. Last year, we were the number one most watched draft coverage on the internet. And I'm actually very, very proud to say that. We put in a lot of hard work, and I would definitely appreciate it. You can see the link below, youtube.com slash 
Bad Sports TV. All right, let's get another super chat from Birdman Group. What up, Birdman? I believe we will end up going with Jerry Judy with his route running ability. I truly believe he is more NFL ready than Lamb. I'd be happy with either Judy or Lamb. J for Judy, L for Lamb. All right, you guys heard the man. He put it in a super chat. J for Judy or L for Lamb. I think everything that you said is exactly right. I think he is actually probably a little bit better of a route runner than CD Lamb. However, I see the upside of a CD Lamb just being a little bit higher than a Jerry Judy. The simple reason of or Lamb has traits that Judy doesn't, and that's size. I also think CD Lamb's a tougher player. I think CD Lamb fits our offense a little bit better. So, would I be happy with either? 100%. But for me, I will type my L for Lamb. But if you guys want Judy, type J. We got Richard. What up, Richard? Richard, I have this uh, logo as a t-shirt. Mitch, what do you think of Simmons drops to seven? We trade pick 12, 81, and 159 to get him, then trade back from 19 to recoup picks. If all of it, if all it costs is 12, 81, and 159, I'd be open to it. However, um, if you want to go up to pick seven, I actually do have a trade, like what it would cost. So we'll get it pulled up here in just a sec. But to get up to pick seven, this is actually what it's going to cost. So trade value chart, you got to give up pick 12. You got to give up pick 81 and 91. I like the idea of having three third round picks because then I think we can trade into the second or we can trade back and get even more picks. I love Isaiah Simmons. You guys know that. I just want to really trust Mike Mayock to find another diamond in the rough like Max Crosby. And we have a better chance of doing that with more picks. So I'm not going to trade up. Let's go to Ricardo. What up, Ricardo? Appreciate you watching, my dude. Okay, uh, Mitch, what if we throw a BS trade offer for Yannick Ngakwe? They are urging to trade him. Maybe we can get a good deal. Look what happened to Hopkins. What do you think? So I don't want you guys to think of the DeAndre Hopkins trade as being a possibility ever again. Like, Bill O'Brien's an idiot. I, I don't really know how else to say it in a nice way. Bill O'Brien's just not a very smart human being. Would I want Yannick Ngakwe? Sure, I think he's a very, very talented defensive end. He's had 37 and a half sacks in his first four years. He's only 24, going to be 25 years old in I think a day or two or something like that. Unbelievably talented. But he's probably going to make close to 18 or 19 million. If you're okay, if you're okay doing that, then, you know, hey, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go on and get Yannick. So, okay, let's see here. Tedford Von Patriot. Slam the Patron, Mitch. Okay, let me, let me text... Uh, let me text my girl. Let me tell her to get me a shot. Give me a sec here. <clears throat> All right, I just texted her, so be patient. We, I'll do a Patron shot. So I said, once we hit $200 worth of Super Chats, I'll slam a shot of Patron. So hopefully she sees it. Fingers crossed, but I will do one before I leave today. We might just have to answer a few more questions until, the, until she sees it. Mad Vet Woodworking. Thoughts on James Lynch out of Baylor. Um, James Lynch out of Baylor. To be honest, I don't know a lot about James Lynch. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. Um, how about this? Mad Vet Woodworking. Message me on Instagram at Mitchell Renz 365. Let me watch some tape. Let me give you an honest opinion. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people saying he's going to be a steal in the draft. I want to give you a better answer than that, though. Okay? I want to give you a better answer than that. So message me on Instagram at Mitchell Renz 365. Cool? Appreciate you. All right, Mad Vet Woodworking and anybody else out there, if you guys need a hat, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hat. So this deal ends on Thursday, okay? So Thursday at midnight. So take advantage of it because if you want to get this, it's only $16.79. So normally this hat's about $25, I believe. I'm not good at math. Maybe it's like $23. So we found this deal and I search. Before I go live, I always search the shows. Oh, boy. I always search the shows and... We always uh, come up with ideas. Well, oh, there is not a lot left. So there's the Patron. Can you get me a glass, shot glass? Thanks. All right. Yep. We got the Patron. Hang on a sec. If you need a hat, though, chatsports.com slash Raiders hat. All right. Let's get the uh, Super Chats questions rolling in. Alicia, we'll go to this one. Bring up a question, and then we'll bring up the Patron. How about that? Because we'll get it. We hit $200 on the show, so I'll, I'll do a drink. Um, what up, Ruben? What do you think will be our record this season? I think if we can really have a solid draft, I think our record's going to be around 10, 11 wins. I honestly believe that. I think when you look at the players that we've had and and if Mayock can crush it again with our rookies, 
I'm going to say 10, 11 wins. Okay, cool. All right. So we raised $200 worth of super chats. I promised y'all that I do a shot of Patron. The only way that I'll do another shot is if we can get to 300. That's what I've been told by my bosses. So that's the rule. So if you guys want me to do another shot, we got to get to $300 in super chats and we will be doing the giveaway here in just a uh, few seconds. So I said I would do a shot of Patron. I drank a lot of Patron at some Raiders games this year. So I'm a little upset I don't get any lime with this. Okay. Like we are out. We had a, we had some parties this weekend, I'll be honest with y'all. All right, so cheers to y'all. Appreciate you. And if you want me to take another one, can you guys see that there's some liquor in there? You can see it moving, right? Okay. Appreciate you. Oh boy. Oh. Tequila's about to make my Black Sunday shirt fall off. Whew. I'll be honest, I don't, I don't do tequila shots without a little bit of lime. I had a lot of Raider fans make fun of me for that, though, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's go to Emmanuel NC. Um, next question. <laughs> we should draft Jordan Love. No, because he can learn behind Carr one or two years. Like, if we go out and draft Jordan Love, Derek Carr is not going to be around for a year or two. The only way you draft a quarterback in year one is if you, I think, honestly, plan on playing him. And even if we draft Jordan Love, then we still don't have a number one wide receiver, I personally think, that we can rely on. I, I like Jordan Love. He is a boomer bust prospect. However, it just doesn't make sense for me to really go out and get a, a quarterback in round one. But Emmanuel, you know I appreciate you. Let's go to Ryan underscore CL. Hey, Mitch, what do you think about drafting Clyde Edwards Hilaire? So I actually really like Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I think he's a very underrated running back. He might not be the most explosive, but this is going to be a very, very, uh, I don't want to say a big reach of a comp. He reminds me a little bit of like a Mark Ingram or maybe even like a Frank Gore, where in terms of athletic ability, he doesn't light it up, but he just gets it done. And his balance and vision is incredible. I like Clyde Edwards Hilaire a lot. However, I think he goes like late second, early third round. And for us, if we're going to get him, I personally don't want to take a running back that early, which is why I like guys like AJ Dillon. That's why I like guys like Cam, you know, Akers out of Florida State. So I would wait a little bit. All right, let's go to Sam, Sam Ford, Sean Ford. Good job, uh, Tequila. Have you seen the Raiders draft hats? Can't find them anywhere. No, um, haven't found them, which is why I found this hat for y'all because I had a few people ask me. They're like, Mitch, where are these Raiders draft hats? I don't know. I, I don't know. So if you guys need a Raiders draft hat, here you go. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hat. Use that promo code. Uh, actually, there is no promo code. You're just going to save 30%. It's $16.79. Chatsports.com slash Raiders hat. So I promised you all a giveaway, and I think it's time to get into that giveaway. So if you guys want a free shirt, Raiders shirt, so shout out to my guys at you know Black Sunday. I want you to type Black Sunday in the comment section, okay? Type Black Sunday in the comment section because at Black Sunday, they do actually have more than t-shirts. So if you don't win, they have this shirt. They have uh, this bandana, which is pretty dope. They also have this Raiders hat. They got a lot of awesome gear. Oh, and I'm about to leave real quick. So hang on a sec. And it all comes in this really freaking awesome box. So shout out to Black Sunday. So if you want a t-shirt, we're going to give away one right now. Also, we're going to do some giveaways during the NFL draft, so make sure you're watching during that time. So type Black Sunday in the comments section below. Start spamming it. If you guys want a shirt, type Black Sunday. Oh, there's a lot of Black Sundays in there. Okay. So once we pick a winner, I'll show you up on screen. I see a lot of Black Sundays. Looks like we have a winner. Okay. The winner of the Black Sunday t-shirt is Drumroll. Matthew Leon. So Matthew Leon, you're the winner of the Black Sunday t-shirt. You have 24 hours to claim your prize. So message me on Instagram at MitchellRen365. And remember, if you guys didn't win, you can still go to Black Sunday. Okay. Look it up online or hit me up on IG. I'll give you the link. They have a lot of other stuff and make sure that you subscribe to our main chat sports channel because we're going to be doing giveaways. Okay. So Matthew, you got 24 hours to claim your prize. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, 
rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.